Welcome. I am Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and this is my um, drone coverage and drive-by uh, video from April 23rd at 7 a.m. in the morning. It's been about two weeks since my last flight. One of the most exciting things for me as a person who nerds out on the Tesla Semi and all of the um, progress for this construction of the Semi plant is at the um, quarterly, first quarterly shareholder meeting, um, a question was asked about the Tesla Semi. And the question was, what is the timeline for scaling Semi? Lars Moravi, the Vice President of Vehicle Engineering, replied, so we're finalizing the engineering of the Semi to enable like a super cost effective, high volume production with our learnings from our fleet and our pilot fleet and Pepsi's fleet, which we are expanding this year marginally. In parallel, as we showed in the shareholders deck, we have started construction on the factory in Reno. Our first vehicles are planned for late 2025 with external customers starting in 2026. I have to admit that um, I thought that was, uh, I was a little surprised by that timeline. What I am um, wondering is if this is a rare case of Tesla under promising and over delivering. But um, in any event, let's get into the, the, let's talk about the slow progress. I think the seemingly slow progress, in my opinion, it is definitely not the um, planning or permitting um, issues. Story County Planning Department does a great job and they endeavor to um, approve any submitted plans within 30 days and actually they usually do it way quicker than that. It is not the permitting process. I believe they're slow rolling this to um, because of CapEx and that they want to spread that CapEx over multiple quarters to protect the EPS earnings per share and other financials and um, just being prudent and uh, spreading that um, CapEx out. That's my opinion. In any event, um, when we later, when we do the ground level drive-by, I'd like to talk about um, what the different connections are to the, um, to the road, to, to Milan Road infrastructure. Uh, and uh, we'll get to that soon. In the meantime, if you look here, this looks like a very large footprint. I have requested public records from Story County, but they're not. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what I get from them. So here's what's they've, here's what's been done so far. Here's a ground level uh, drive by. That is a you, the first rocks were part of the uh, rainwater management. That drainage pipe, I believe, will be accompanied by a concrete um, outlet to let it flow into the um, existing uh, uh, drainage wash here. What we just drove by is more uh, drainage. Oh, was actually, that was a, um, I believe, was a sewer connection. And um, that was another connection there that I think might be um, potable water. And then we'll proceed. Uh, this is uh, driving on Milan Avenue in my Tesla. And um, here is a more drain, drain pipe, stormwater management. And I believe that will also have to have some sort of um, uh, structure, concrete structure to allow it to flow into the uh, wash without further erosion. This, I believe, is additional sewer, um, although it could, you know, I can't be sure, but I feel like that is probably the second sewer. Um, then when we get up here, these are some water store tanks, and this looks like um, fiber optic cable. I'm, um, cert I'm certain of that. And whether or not there's anything else in that trench that they built, I don't know. And now we're getting up to where you'll see two things. One, overhead power is or has been there, and I'm trying to get a handle on how long that's been there, but the most importantly are these box culverts that were brought in and additional concrete reinforcement done, <coughs> excuse me, done on both ends um, 
to, uh, and this is where um, thousands of Tesla semis will um, will be exiting the se the high volume semi production plant. So it's pretty exciting. I think they'll put a guard shack there. There, um, this is a long range view of the um, northwest end, um, and up there at the top, I believe that's more stormwater management work they're doing. And there's that drain pipe coming out that I believe will have to be finished. And one thing that's in interesting is in the shareholder deck, they included a picture of the uh, of this uh, semi-production uh, construction, and it looked like it could have been one of my videos. And if they would have asked, I obviously would have let them use one of mine, but it's almost identical to like this shot right here. Um, so what, we, what I see here is final grading. Um, this area in front had been trenched and has the stormwater management uh, and uh, sewage and um, other infrastructure, that, and it's now been almost completely buried. Um, and if you look, again, it looks like a very large footprint up above. Um, so even though that those dates given by Lars seems seem a little um, discouraging, I'd like to remind you that the prototype plant is currently producing Tesla semis, albeit at a low volume. And those Pepsi, those those semis that they produce between now and the commencing of high volume construction in the building that we're going to watch and follow along as they build it are going to be delivered to Pepsi to finish their 100 orders. And um, and they're sort of a bay alpha test site or a test test uh, partner with uh, Tesla on the semi program. Um, they're going to and then the uh, and then the remaining until they deliver to other customers will be delivered to Tesla, both for their in engineering um, division, which does endurance testing. Uh, they have two shifts daily doing endurance testing to uncover any issues before Pepsi and, and, um, and tweak the design so that they've got a very mature, reliable design when they start delivering to um, non-alpha test customers like Pepsi. And the other, um, and then I think a vast majority of the ones they produce after they've delivered them to Pepsi will go to their production. And those will be used for factory to factory deliveries of um, drive motors and battery packs from Giga Nevada to Fremont. And I wouldn't be surprised to see them um, used down at Giga Texas to um, deliver vehicles to the uh, train station. And um, anyways, it's, I think it's very exciting stuff we have going. Thanks for joining me and look forward to seeing you in the future.